I'm supposed to feel bad? Because he's crying? I can watch Anne Boleyn cry. I can start my fucking stream and OBS crash and fucking watch myself cry. This dude can go fuck himself. I hope you cry more. Because you're crying, it's your fault you're crying. Just like I said earlier, it's his fault he's fucking crying. Because if he didn't, look at that, look at that. A wet ass tear right under his eye. We're going to zoom in on it. I'm extra fucking toxic. Extra fucking toxic. I'm green. I'm green and purple right now. Look at that wet ass fucking tear under his eye. Look at it. He's, 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 he's got makeup on. Oh my God. Look at his snack on the fucking screen. Look at him. Right there. Look at Yoshi. Right there. Soak it the fuck up, bitch. You shouldn't have tried to like half-ass make money off of your dead old friends. And now you, you, now you got to fucking realize that you did it. And you're literally crying in front of people that watch Let's Players. You're crying in front of Let's Play content watchers. You're not, you, you're not like Trisha Paytas or Amber Lynn. When Amber Lynn cry, she's crying in front of people that literally, literally, I don't, don't want to have the camera on for this, literally watch her because they know her. They're not watching her because they liked Fallout 10 years ago. They're not watching her because they liked Mario Party five years ago. They're not watching her because they liked him making fun of Wings three months ago. They're watching her because they know she's Amber Lynn and they watch Amber Lynn. This dude's a fucking Let's Player. And for some goofy-ass, clown-ass reason, he thought it was in his league to make segments about actual dead people. I don't care how much he knew him. We all know somebody that fucking died. I can make all kinds of segments and streams about dead people. But I'm not because that's ridiculous. What am I supposed to get out of that? What is anybody else going to get out of that? Wow, you guys, this person that I liked that died for some reason or got killed for some reason or somehow, they were super cool and I appreciated them and loved them. Really? That's really cool and nice. But I thought I'm supposed to fucking play Fortnite or some shit, man. At the end of the day, sorry, DSP. If you want to be a fucking lifestyle video or channel or whatever the fuck, Maybe you shouldn't say you're a gamer all day. And then you make weird ass videos like that. And people that are friends with you in real life get mad about it. And guess what? Seven years ago, he's fucking crying about it. And you know what? I'm going to pause on his frame for a few more seconds and laugh at it and be toxic. I'm not laughing because people, people died and people got killed. I'm laughing because he put himself in this fucking situation to cry in front of a bunch of fucking 20 year olds and 12 year olds and 15 year olds. And, and people that don't even like him for him. People that like him because he played a video game. He can go fuck himself. I hope, I hope he sleeps good tonight. Hopefully he can order something else through DoorDash because he didn't like the food he had earlier. I hope he gets something that he actually likes. Maybe he can get some good alcohol to drink. It was one of the reasons why I originally had depression. Hopefully this segment lasts longer. Me at a time in my life when, I hope it lasts my God, longer. I hadn't dealt with death or loss. It's okay. And although everyone in Connecticut... Well, did he, well, did he, he should blame this on being an alcoholic. Remember when he pur purposely told us how he was an actual bad person and how he was toxic. And he dedicated a website to hating on people. And he blamed it on being an alcoholic.